This video will show you how to graph and linearize with Logger Pro. First thing you want to do is enter your data into the data table that is on the left side. You'll see that it automatically makes a graph for you. We need to title the columns. To do that, you double click on the top of the column. So I have graphed here charge and force. So this is charge. Our short name is Q and our units are Coulomb. Double click on the top of the Y column and we can say this is force. Our short name. The short name is what will appear in the equation and if your name is too long it will also appear at the top of the data column. And then our units for force are Newton. So now you can see that these are automatically um, titled. If you double click on the graph area, you can get the graph options and you can title the graph. So remember we do the y-axis versus the x-axis, so force versus charge. And to make things interesting, you can change the color of the title if you want. So we have our initial graph here. Um, sometimes when you put your data in, it might be scaled strangely. So this button up here is auto scale. And that will kind of center your data on your, your page. You may want to scale from zero though. So if you want to auto scale from zero, you right click on the graph and you get auto scale as an option. And then you can auto scale from zero. I'm going to make this graph a little bit smaller. Notice that my data table is not uh, making a, or is not providing me with consistent number of decimal places or sig figs. If I want, I can set the computer to do that for me. So if you double click on the top of the columns and you go to options, Depending on what you're doing, you may want to specify the number of decimal places or significant figures. For this, I'm going to do one decimal place for everything. And this is just sample data, so it doesn't really matter. So I have a curve. This is a quad, this looks like a quadratic relationship to me, so we can do a linearization of it to find the relationship between force and charge. Now, we know that when we linearize a um, parabola, we will square whatever's on the x axis if it's top opening. And this one is opening towards the top of the page. You could do a manual column and square all these in your head or with your calculator, but you can also have Logger Pro do that for you. If you go to Data and New Calculated Column, we can call this Charge Squared, and we have a little arrow over here. If you click, then you can get superscripts, subscripts, and Greek letters. Our short name will be Q Squared. And our units will be Coulomb squared. Then in the expression box, you're going to tell Logger Pro what to do. Select a set of variables or a column from the variable columns button. So we want charge. And then you tell it what to do to charge. So in this case, we're going to square it. You can also use this functions button. And you can see that there are lots of functions there. When I press done, we have a new column that is charge squared. Now notice that this is using three decimal places. I want it to match the rest of mine. So I'm going to double click on the top of the column, go to options, and set it to be one decimal place. To get another graph, I go to insert graph. And it doesn't always graph exactly what I wanted to graph on the first try when I first insert it. To change that, we click on the x-axis title. It'll give us some options. 
I want charge squared on my x-axis, and I want force on my y-axis. So you can see I have a nice straight line there. I'm going to double click and give it a title. So this is force versus charge squared. Now I need to do a linear fit on this graph so that I can use that to write the equation of my line. Um, I'm going to select the graph by clicking on it and press this top button. It says linear fit when your cursor over it and this will help us find the equation of the line. We can also do a curve fit if you want to on this top graph. So this button here is curve fit, and I know this is a quadratic, so I'm going to select quadratic, but there's lots of options there. If you're not sure, you can select it and press try fit, and you'll be able to see it up here, and you've got some information over here that can help you decide if that is in fact the correct fit for your data. Next we need to write the equation of our line. So I'm going to insert a text box, and I know that I'm going to be focusing on this box right here. So this tells me the form of the equation, f equals mx plus b. This is just what, basically y equals mx plus b. f is on the uh, y-axis, m is our slope x is our x variable, which is charge squared, and then b is our y-intercept. So to write our equation, we are going to write our y variable, which is force. You may be required to put the units in parentheses. You may not, depending on your teacher. Force is measured in newtons, so I'm going to put the newtons in parentheses as the units. Then I will write my slope. You can see that the slope is given here in this box as 2.3 newtons per coulomb squared. Um, so I'm going to write newtons per coulomb and if I right click I can insert a character. I want a superscript and then that's my slope and then I multiply that by my x variable. Now instead of putting an x, I'm going to put q squared because the variable on my x-axis is charge squared. So I will do q and then insert another character. I can also just copy this and paste it, which I think I'm going to do this time. So q squared and then the unit for q squared is coulomb squared. Paste another one of those exponents in there. And then we're going to add our y-intercept. Now notice that this y-intercept is negative 9.68 times 10 to the negative 14th. That's pretty much a zero, so I'm actually going to leave that off. But if you had a y-intercept um, that wasn't zero, then you would put that on there with the unit. I'm going to write this really quickly without the units, so if you are in a class in which you don't have to use the unit, you will know what it looks like. So what this shows me is that um, this shows me the relationship between force and charge. So this is my mathematical model. And that is how you make a graph and linearize using Lardner Pro.